In Sweden, many authors write straight for the digital market, mainly audiobooks, since that format is far more popular amongst readers than ebooks so far. I am such an author, and I want to share the pros and cons of writing for the audiobook market. These are the three main pros. One, any length goes. I have had three novellas accepted and published for the audiobook market. The publishing houses even accept short stories for publication in audiobook form. The number of words is not as important for digital media as it is for publishing houses who mainly print books. 2. No money down. In Sweden, the most common way to listen to audiobooks is to have a subscription to a platform where you find the books. Such platforms can be, for instance, Storytel. The reader pay a fee and then have access to as many books as he or she would like to read. That means the reader has already paid for your book if it is on such a platform. That is a huge advantage for new authors. You don't have to make anybody reach into their pockets to pay for your book, only for their earphones to listen to it. Having access to numerous books also means that many readers read a lot and actively looks for new books to read. They simply consume more stories. This effect of the model also favours new authors compared to how hard it is to get noticed in a physical bookstore if you are lucky enough to get into one. 3. Backlist is king. The best thing about writing for the audiobook market is that your backlist need never go old. Your old books are right there under your author name next to your new books. And if a reader likes one of your books, they can continue straight to the next. That makes it more profitable to be an author on such a platform the more titles you have available under your name. And that makes writing for the audiobook market not only favourable for new authors, but also for authors who have a really long backlist. I will be back shortly to list the cons with writing for the audiobook market. <laughs>